Place a string over the groove of the pulley A and B. One end is hooked to the ring and the another end is attached to the hanger. Another string is hooked vertically downwards between the ring and the hanger as shown in figure 1A. Add different masses to the three hangers until the ring appears at the center of the whiteboard. The system is in equilibrium. Put a piece of A3 or A4 paper behind the setup and use some manic to hold the paper. Trace the path of the string on the paper using the line protractor. Record the masses and angle associated with the trace line. You should include the mass of the hanger. Remove the paper from the board. Put the ring and the weight back to the hook. Multiply the masses by G to obtain the forces acting in Newton along each line. Take G equals 9.81 meters per second square. Decide on a convenient scales and mark off distance from O up one of the trace line representing the magnitude of the force acting in that direction. This is now the vector representation of that force. From the tip of this vector, draw a line parallel to one of the another force lines. Using the same scales, Mark off the distance for this force. Repeat step C to D above for the remaining lines.
a closed force triangle should result under static equilibrium conditions.